Hi guys, 18 Dap here and it is opening day of the season. We're here at the Keepmo Stadium, Doncaster Rovers versus Gillingham. Let's get the video started. <laughs> So, Doncaster Rovers versus Gillingham. Donny, a couple of good signings after Marquis has left. Marquis gone to Portsmouth. I think it's the right thing for him. I think it's the right thing for the club as well. He's wanted to go for a while. At least this way, we've got a bit of money for him. He's not gone on a free, but he is a huge, huge loss. Three signings, Baptiste, um, Ennis and Cameron John yesterday. Still not invested the money that we've received from Marquis. I think there will be more signings coming before the end of the transfer period. There's a wasp. Oh. <laughs> it's following me. Unfortunately, parents, Chris, Max, can't be with us today. But fortunately for you guys, Vicky has come to the football. You looking forward to the season? <laughs> there we go. That's Vicky's thoughts on it. Um, I have got Chris, my dad's and Max's predictions so they will be in the video a little bit later on but for now let's go and enjoy the sun, enjoy the atmosphere, we'll get some fans thoughts and we'll go to the club shop, get Vicky a goalkeeper top because she's a keeper. Here she is modelling the new keeper top because she's a keeper. <laughs> you like it? Happy days. We'll get it. We're gonna celebrate. So we're in the ground now. Family's predictions. My dad has gone with 3 2 to Doncaster Rovers. Chris has gone with 2 0 to Gillingham. And Max has gone with his standard 2 1 Donny. Um, I went with 1 1. What's your score prediction? I was gonna go 1 1. Oh, great minds think alike. There we go, so we've got a couple of 1-1s. One there is going to be a prediction league that will be updated at the end once we know the score. Um, but for now, let's go see what the Gillingham fans think before the game. Right guys, so the first fan sports of the season, I've got Jill's in the blood here, YouTube channel, link in the description down below. I've literally just subscribed, so I'll be checking your content subscribe out. Subscribe to yours as well, yeah, so we'll so have a look at each other's. And happy days, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll judge yeah. you from there. <laughs> so, with the first fan sports, we normally ask how the season's going and stuff. We've just had a bit of a chat, it's going really well for I'm both of us. Yeah, we're doing all right. <laughs> but how do you think your recruitment's gone this summer, um, and what's your expectations for the season? I think it's gone well for us personally, um, compared to this time last year. I'd say the signings that we've made are probably more high calibre than a year ago. Um, I think we're only one or two away now from having a decent side to challenge at the right end of the table. Nice. Yeah, I'll that up as well. Last season, I think we said our star signing was someone to come out of the bottom end of League One, which was Dean Parrot, and he's now gone to League Two. Yeah. Um, and there was a few non league signings, but this yeah. year we've got Gold Cup from Championship, we're from Man United. United, yeah, there's people that come out of the SPL. So positive, some of the Yeah, yeah I think so. Not to really hate what Stocky said, I just think at the moment, in terms of maybe the playoffs or anything bigger, I think we're probably a natural goal scorer, a 20 goal hit man away. We might have one in the we've, squad already. We just lost one of them. Yeah, he was on loan <laughs> us. He's a very good player. Yeah, really, yeah. really good player. And it's a big blow, obviously, three days before the season starts. But from our point of view, it's bloody marvellous. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I think at the moment, I don't think we'll be in any danger this season in terms of relegation, which is all we've had for the last few years, isn't it? I think I've said ninth. Yeah, ninth. Yeah, ninth. It's not a bad prediction. I'm... Yeah, tenth was my prediction. I think I think we're challenged throughout the season, but I don't think we've got enough at the moment. It's not quite to, enough to, yeah. to get it to break I think unless we top buy six. one or. We find a gem in there that's in there today, yeah. maybe, but I think we'll be fine. Um, player to watch for Gillingham today? There's a couple of supporters in there, Jacoby, yeah. who works sure with Stark. So um, I'm going to say Brandon Hanlon. He ended the season really well last year. He ended up with nine goals first season in league football. Uh, I think six assists as well, and he won our young player of the year. So I'm hoping he can hit the ground running. I'm hoping he gets good game time. And, if anyone potentially could go and get 12, 15, 18 goals, I think he might be the fellow. Yeah, I'd echo Hanlon um, on the attacking front. I think O'Keefe's quite a key player for us um, yep. since he's coming pre-season. He's held the middle well, so 
yeah, he'd be one that I'm interested in seeing how he gets on today. Yeah, uh, in my preview, I went with Mandro, one of, one of the new signings. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's, he's one of those guys where I think he'll be more of a nuisance than a goal scorer. I think yeah. down in League Two, 12 goals over two seasons. Yeah, but he's one of them that can just cause problems up that's front. That's what I've said. I think he'd get more assists than goals. Yeah. But I don't see that as a bad sign. The yeah. type of player he is, pre season, he's sometimes played up top on his own. Um, and I think he's going to bring others into play, so I think he's going to be very vital for us this season. Yeah, I think he'll do well. I just think he'll probably, I think if we don't get this magical goal scoring, I think you'll see a, a Gillingham side that has to spread the goals around. So your, your top scorer might be 10, 11, 12, and then hopefully the midfield can chip in with a few as well. I said exactly the same with Marcus going. I'd sooner see four So if you started up today, is May playing as a nine? Or? I've not seen it yet. I know May started, but I didn't, I didn't have a chance to look at the formation. Yeah, I think, I think sadly I might be at the top, right, okay. and May might play wide. But if we get four or five players on eight, ten goals, it's better than one on twenty. That's it, yeah, of course, yeah. So we will see how it goes. Um, and final score prediction, please. I went with one one. Yeah, I've gone exactly the same one. I'll, I'll be happy with that as well. I've been slightly more positive. Oh, boss. Floyd the Wasp, and I've said two one to Gillingham. Two one to Gillingham. Being attacked here. <laughs> might get attacked afterwards if I'm wrong. <laughs> Wicked. Thank you very much. No um, worries, my pleasure. Safe journey home, guys. And cheers, cheers thank mate. You. Thank, thank you. you. So that's fan sports, the first one of the season. Let's get the confirmed team lineups for both Donny Rovers and Gillingham before the teams come out. So we have the confirmed team lineups here. We'll start with Doncaster. We've got Lawler in goal. Back four of Halliday, Baptiste, Anderson, and James. Midfield of Wyman, Sheath, and Gomez. And then a front three of May, Coppinger, Sadly, I'm assuming Coppinger and May will be wide players. So it could be a 4 5 1, 4 3 3. Um, subs Crawford, Blair, Lombardon, Kiwamia. And then the three three new signings Keeper, Senny Dieng, Niall Ennis, and Cameron John, both from Wolves. On to the visitors, Gillingham. We've got Bonham in goal, Hodson, Aimer, Jones, Fuller, Cissé, O'Keefe mentioned in fan sports, Yukubiak, good player, Charles Cook and Jolie, Hanlon and then substitutes we've got Garmston, Ogilvy, Mandarin, he was in my preview as the one to watch uh, list, Byrne, Marshall and Walsh. So that's the team lineups, let's go watch them come out for the first half. Drop 
up over his shoulder and volleys it and it's that quick to pass the keeper before he knows it. Still think Gillingham have been the best team and that's half time. Gillingham have edged it for me in this first half. There's been spells of the play we've defended well. In. And we're expecting going in 1 0 down and I think that'd been fair. But that was a good goal to see us in. Shouldn't change the team talk though. We're defending well, but you can see that there's just no cohesion with the squad at the minute. With the summer decimating the squad, a lot of new players in here. You can see that the cohesion just isn't quite there, but there is signs, positive signs that we could be not too bad a team. So, all to play for in the second half. Let's go watch it. Time Rovers won, Gillingham won. Did you enjoy your only game of the season? It was alright. It weren't bad, were it? I think second half performed much, much better than what we did in the first. Um, the passing play, the interlinking between the players was a lot better, it was a lot slicker. Um, so I think on the balance of play, a 1 1 draw is a fair result. Gillingham, better team in the first half. Donny, better team in the second. 1 1, fair result. So, predictions will be up on the screen now. I believe I predicted 1-1, so that is three points to me. If you're new... <laughs> so, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is going to be something new. If we get the score spot on, it's three points. If we get the result right, it's one point. If we get it wrong, it's no points. Um, and then that is going to be carrying on throughout the season. Puts me on three points, doesn't it, Vicky? Top of the table. Happy days. If you've enjoyed this, big thumbs up for us, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment in the section down below. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Well played.